also got some questions about problems 29 through 30, so I'm going to solve those uh, from scratch. Uh, and you can see how I'm going to input the code. See, I've just got like a blank kind of R file. I use R markdown. Um, I've got a blank file. There's nothing going on. So the first thing I'm going to do is go back to my problem and say, how strongly do physical characteristics of sisters and brothers correlate? So the data in the table gives the heights and inches of 12 adult pairs. I've got brothers and sisters. So we're going to assume Damien is 65 inches tall, and we're going to use this to predict the information of his sister Tanya. So the first thing I'm going to do is download the C, close that, download this CSV file. So there it is, ex05-brosis.cvs. Okay, CSV. I move it to my desktop. You hear that lovely satisfying noise? Now I always have another file open, and I just copy over how to read the file because <laughs> you know I'm not super not lazy okay so but we don't want to call this we're gonna call this bro sis and it was uh, 47 bro sis I believe was the name of the file not deep bro sis so bro sis cannot fi open the file no such file or directory okay so what was it called 37, 37 brosis. Okay, let's try that again. There I have it. I have brosis. So let's see what this looks like. Okay, so here's our data set, right? And we're using the height of the brother to predict the height of the sister. So I could first see if there's any correlation, right? I could type uh, brosis. Um, I want to use brother to predict sister. So we're going to do sister first because that's our y. And then is it comma or tilde? I think it's comma. Brother. So let's see what the correlation is. Okay, not bad, not great, but it is a positive correlation. Um, if I wanted to, I could plot this to see what the graph of this looks like. Again, I'm lazy, so I use copy paste a lot, but this needs a tilde. not a comma. Okay, so here's the plot. We see like a positive correlation, um, but let's figure out what that correlation equation is. Okay, so this gives me the equation for correlation. This says like sister height equals 28.037. Let's just round to three decimal places. Plus 0 0.521 times brother, right? So then we can go back to our equation and say, oh, give our answer to one decimal place. Well, we'll round at the end. Hopefully that's okay. So assume Dean is 65 inches tall. Let's predict the height of his sister, Tanya. Okay, so we're gonna use this equation. So I'm gonna say 28.037 plus 0 0.5 five to one times, we use um, the asterisk, times the brother's height. That would give me a predicted height of 61.902. So let's say 61.9 and hope it likes it because how embarrassing to get it wrong if I'm recording a video. Yay, okay, cool. So let's take a look at the next question. How strongly do physical characteristics, okay, yes. So based on the scattered correlation in R, do we expect our prediction to be very accurate? Hmm. So the prediction is not expected to be very accurate because the correlation is very large, is not very large. The regression line explains only 30.8% of the variation in sister heights. But R is not what explains that, R squared is. So you know what we need to do is we need to take our R value, which we found, to be 0 0.5043. And you know what we need to do is we need to square that. To find R squared, which is tells us what proportion of variation is accounted for by the best fit line, we need to square this. And that does give me 30.8. So let's go back to our question. Um, the regression line explains only 30.8 of the variation in sister heights. That would make sense, right? Because R squared explains um, the variation in heights. 
it wouldn't be 55.5, right? That's our R value. We need R squared. 74.5 isn't what we found, so let's check our answer. And we are correct. So that's how you would do problem 29 and 30.